Carbon yes. monoxide. Go to the next slide. Wait a minute. Carbon okay. monoxide is odorless, colorless, and poisonous. That's why when you hear of people, they died of carbon monoxide poisoning, they had no idea what was happening. Another thing you might have not realized yesterday, carbon monoxide, it's caused, I think I told you this, when carbon does not burn completely. So wherever you see like ash forming from a substance that you know, contains carbon, it's incomplete burning of carbon. The main source of carbon monoxide is your car exhaust, or the number one contributor, I should say. It causes headaches, drowsiness, fatigue, and can lead to death if inhaled for uh, a long period of time. Guys, not related um, mobile sources can be cigarettes, okay? I always like to let you know that cigarettes cause carbon monoxide. Because it's in just oxides. Main source, what is it, guys? Nitrogen. Well, it comes from nitrogen. What's the main source of emission? <coughs> How does it get in the air? The fossil fuels in general. So any electricity production, car, whatever. It leads to bad ozone, and I'm introducing things that you're going to be responsible for knowing after. Acid rain and nitrogen are linked together, and health issues can be respiratory problems yeah, and visibility. Oh, I, I'm not even saying that. I problem. could summarize everything. Sulfur. Sulfur oxide, again, the source is burning fossil fuels. Any, and I'm going to add here, so far all the ones I've talked about, if you burn organic matter, you're going to produce them, because organic matter is made up of Chan PS, and all of these contain that. Again. It's linked to acid rain. So right now, here comes a test question. I'm going to give it to you. What are the two contributors to acid rain? Carbon monoxide. Nope. Nitrous. Nitrous oxide. 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 Nowhere in your notes does it say the two contributors to acid rain yet. They will in, in the next com coming slides. But I gave you nitrous oxide, and I said it, it's linked to acid rain. Now I gave you sulfur, and I'm telling you it's linked to acid rain. So putting them together. It's going to lead to respiratory problems like all of them. So health-wise, the only thing you need to know about primary pollutants is that they cause respiratory problems. Next, volatile organic compounds, VOCs. Volatile organic compounds. So you know they're going to be made up of Chon PS because they're organic compounds. Are they all made up of Chon PS? Well, they all have a part of it. What's the Chon PS? So yeah. The source, again, is burning fossil fuel. And I also want you to know that paint, cleaners, aerosol spray cans all contribute to volatile organic compounds. You do not have to know any of this on the test. However, it's there for you to reference. We're not doing that. So either. particulate matters. No, no, no. Thank God. They are any suspended particle is particulate matter. So dust, if I, I'm going to label it for you, because that's probably a test question. If I say suspended particles, I'm assuming you know that dust is a suspended particle. What else is a suspended particle? Mm -hmm. Soil. Debris, okay. Oh, Ashes. Ashes. Sand. Sand. <coughs> Et cetera. Pollen. Mm -hmm. Big problem, right? Yeah. Urbanization or wherever there's construction, there's going to be a lot of particulate matter. So is there a lot of particulate matter near student services? Yes. So our major outdoor air pollution. I do. Name. So we got smog. Name another one. Look at the Acid picture. Rain. Acid, Acid rain. Oh, Good. Like what else? All right. Dre's going to answer a question. Okay, Go. He did. One more. That's, that's global warming. The global warming. What else? I told you the topics of your projects. That's linked to global warming. Tony, what's the second part of your project? Um, Ozone. Come on. And temperature inversions is probably the only one you've never heard.